Why a Nitro Phone with Graphene OS? Data Protection and Security Conflicts with Conventional Mobile's Devices Asterisk In most cases, there is a compulsion to use the manufacturer's services. Without the creation of user accounts with these services, use of the devices is only partly possible or with difficulty. Data is collected via the services and user accounts and user profiles are created. This is then used for personalized advertising, for example. The compulsion to use proprietary software creates security conflicts, as there is a lack of clarity about the specific function and possible security vulnerabilities. Conventional Android systems often have to deal with manufacturer bloatware that cannot be removed. Most mobile devices do not have a trusted platform module. What is a Nitro phone or a Nitro tablet? A Nitro phone or a Nitro tablet combines security, privacy, and ease of use with modern hardware between mid-range and high-end level. Optional for high safety requirements, the safety-impaired hardware can be removed. The Nitro phone or the Nitro tablet is based on the high-quality Pixel hardware with the Titan M2 chip. On the software level, the devices run on Graphene OS, the most hardened Android available. Removable hardware for more security. To make it physically impossible to monitor the environment, the Nitro phone or Nitro tablet can be ordered with optional microphones, acceleration and rotation sensors, gyroscope, and cameras. Acceleration and rotation sensors could be misused as microphones. The speakers are connected via an AD converter, so they cannot be misused as microphones. For Nitro tablets, all radio modules can also be removed to physically prevent unintentional radio communication. Despite the removed microphones, phone calls can be made with an external headset. Reason for use of the Pixel hardware Along with the Pixel hardware comes the Titan M2 chip. It is a hardware security component that is physically separated from the rest of the processors, providing additional device security. This trusted platform module, TPM, is used to generate and store cryptographic keys, PIN, password, fingerprints, thus protecting them from access by the operating system. It is part of the security of the verified boot process, which ensures that the operating system has not been changed and also protects against the mass testing of pins and passwords. What makes Graphene OS different? Graphene OS is based on the Android Open Source Project, AOSB, and is 100% open source, thus transparent and also well documented. This applies to the source code itself, as well as the system's operation and its functions. Graphene OS is a hardened Android and includes fixes for a large number of security vulnerabilities that have not yet been addressed in Android. Unlike many other mobile devices, security updates are distributed at lightning speed and are guaranteed for 5 years, instead of the usual 2 to 3 years. In terms of usability, Graphene OS is an Android and therefore neither unfamiliar nor complicated. When using Graphene OS it is not necessary to create accounts or log in anywhere. There are no cloud components installed by default, so the user retains control. Instead of the services that are otherwise anchored in Android and are provided by external servers, such as connectivity checks or download of a GPS files, Graphene OS uses its own servers and proxy servers. If desired, these services can also be disabled completely or reset to the Google servers. Security by default. Graphene OS follows the security by default approach, so the system as well as the applications were hardened and unnecessary code was removed. A large part of the security gain with Graphene OS is the reduction of the attack surface. Graphene OS avoids removing useful features for end users, but it disables many features by default. The user must actively choose to use them. In addition, there are some features for explicit security gain. By default, NFC, Bluetooth, Location, and Wi-Fi are disabled. Features for Enhanced Security Furthermore, it is possible to disable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi automatically after a timeout. Functions such as Auto Reboot, the support of longer passwords, PIN scrambling, as well as a higher security when unlocking via fingerprint are added. Verified booting has been extended and improved. Control over the hardware 
The Location Data Access Indicator extension shows when an app requests location data. The ability to disable an app's access to all sensors on a given device has been extended. Therefore, not only the existing Android permissions such as camera, microphone, body sensors, activity detection, but also those not covered by Android permissions for example accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, barometer, thermometer can now be disabled. Control over the radio communications. MAC address randomization per connection is enabled by default, and the DHCP client status is also cleared when a connection is re-established. Protection against over-the-air exploits by isolating the baseband radio processor via IOMMU has been provided. There is an optional, LTE-only mode to significantly reduce the mobile attack surface. App Control Sandboxing of apps is the last line of defense by containing different layers. Graphene OS improves sandboxing by strengthening the kernel and other base OS components, as well as improving sandboxing policies. With Graphene OS, it is not only possible to disable system apps, but also any installed app. Control over app access. Android's default storage permission has been introduced by Storage Scopes as a fully compatible alternative. By enabling storage scopes, the app assumes that it has all the storage permissions it requests, when in fact it has none. It can optionally be decided which permissions are allowed for files or directories. To grant contact permission, contact scopes has been implemented as an alternative. By default, it behaves as if the contact list is empty, and users can assign scopes to specific contacts or groups of contacts. Accordingly it is then possible to give different applications access to only a certain range of contacts. Improved and extended user profiles. Furthermore, the user profiles have been improved and extended. In standard Android, user profiles are limited to 4, 3 plus guest. Graphene OS raises the limit of the number of secondary user profiles to 32, 31 plus guest, to make this feature more flexible. Forwarding notifications from users running in the background to the currently active user is possible. By default this is disabled but can be enabled in any user profile if forwarding to the active profile is desired. Notifications forwarded from other profiles are displayed in a local notification channel by default. A switch was added in the user management settings to disable the installation of apps for secondary users. Graphene OS supports logging out of user profiles without the need for a device manager to control the device. Logging off makes the profiles inactive, so none of the applications installed in the profile can be run. In addition, logging off deletes the hard disk encryption keys from memory and the hardware register. Google Services in an App Sandbox in order to use Android apps that rely on Google Play services, but don't lose the advantages of a system free of Google Play services, Graphene OS offers the possibility to install Google services in an app sandbox. As elsewhere, Graphene OS makes it easy for the user by offering the installation of Google services in its own app store. However, these are not installed or used as a backend for the operating system services, as it would be the case with another Android. Graphene OS does not use Google Play services, even if they are installed. A compatibility layer provides the possibility to install and use the official versions of Google Play in the default app sandbox. This turns Google Play apps within Graphene OS into normal apps that have absolutely no special access or privileges. If they are installed within a specific user or work profile, they are only available within that profile and only apps within the same profile can use them. Like any other app, Google Play apps cannot access data from other apps and require the user's explicit consent to gain access to profile data or default permissions. Apps within the same profile can communicate with mutual consent, and this is not different with Google Play in a sandbox. Which apps does Graphene OS provide? Due to the purest approach, which is part of the security design of Graphene OS, the pre-installed apps are limited to these. Telephone Dialer Gallery. Messaging for SMS. Vanadium, hardened web view and default browser. Graphene OS Camera, camera app focused on privacy and security. Graphene OS App Store, 
GraphenOS's own apps and a mirror of Google Play services for the sandbox function. Auditor app and attestation service, verifying the identity of a device and the authenticity and integrity of the operating system. Some standards like calculator, clock, contacts, files. And the GraphenOS PDF viewer, a hardened PDF viewer. Possible configurations. GraphenOS can easily be extended as desired despite the puristic approach that prevails in the state of delivery. It is possible to install applications and services from the Android universe, remove restrictions, and thus configure the phone or tablet individually. Due to the possibilities offered by GraphenOS, it is possible to divide the use of the system into different areas in a very simple and user-friendly way and to separate them from each other. For demonstration a possible setup would be three user profiles. Owner, Work and Google Services. An Owner profile would be intended for everyday and private use. In this context the messenger is used for private communication, the mail client for private mails as well private contacts. This is also where private photos, music etc. are located. The forwarding of the notifications is activated so that the accessibility is always guaranteed no matter which profile is currently running. A work profile would be used for all work matters. This is where all the communication channels for work are set up like messenger, mail and work contacts. The photos that are taken for work purposes are located here and can be synchronized directly to the corporate cloud. The passwords for the working day are stored in the password manager. Since it is important to be reachable via work-specific communication channels, the work profile runs parallel to the owner profile in everyday life and the forwarding of notifications is activated. When on vacation or after work, the user can simply log out of the work profile. The Google Services profile is where the apps that only work with Google Play services are swapped out. Thus, Google Play services are installed in a sandbox in this profile and only there. This is where apps like car sharing, banking or Google Maps can be installed. This profile is only activated for the time periods in which one of these apps is needed and can then be deactivated directly after use. Because the forwarding of notifications is activated in the profile's owner and work, the messages from these profiles are forwarded to the Google profile. If wanted, the forwarding of Google notifications can remain deactivated towards the owner and work profiles. Enterprise Ready MDM To manage the Nitro phone or Nitro tablet efficiently and securely, organizations can use the mobile device management. The MDM can be purchased to manage a larger number of devices and enforce policies and configurations on them. A powerful MDM is available as an open-source software. Organizations can operate it themselves or obtain it as a service. Summary With a Nitro phone or a Nitro tablet, you get a mobile device that is trimmed to combine the highest security with the usual simple Android usability. Sensors, microphones and cameras can be removed to increase security even more. The Pixel hardware brings a trusted platform module for more security on the hardware level. With Graphene OS as the system, you get an extra hardened Android and security updates are distributed at lightning speed with a 5-year guarantee. This allows complete control over the device to the user through customization, thus combining security and flexibility.